Welcome into Intentional Talk presented by MasterCard. We are here at T-Mobile Park getting ready for the Home Run Derby. And you know, guys, it's Intentional Talk, so we had to come in hot and heavy. We hot. already have our first guest already sitting on the desk. Thank you for thank you for arriving on time, Nolan Arenado. I appreciate it. Of who, course, I got to be. Who okay. is good looking, by the way, and hot? When you're talking about hot, like there is some weather here that's hot for Seattle, but then yeah. you got the hot guy that swings a hot stick. That's Everything's hot about him. I was just telling him, he looks unbelievable in that uniform. You know, that's a big rivalry for a lot of years, but I like it. I mean, it's that looks good. Uniform, yeah, right? there's no doubt. But he didn't like you because he's Cubs, I, I, and then we got this is like Yankee Sox. I thing, do you see know, that. Man. I have nightmares of pools hitting homers off me, but that's okay. I'm good <laughs> therapy for it. It'll be you're fine. You're not the only one with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, you're an all star for an eighth time. Does this ever get old? No, absolutely not. It never gets old. I mean, I love coming out here, uh, just being surrounded by great players. I mean, the best part about it is literally just being in the locker room eating and talking ball. I mean, we got a lot of good ball players, and I'm trying to just get better when I'm here. Every time I come, I just try to ask some questions, but also try to enjoy it and just take it in. Isn't that great, though? That's one thing I love about you, and I told you that before. You know, Mark DeRosa, first thing he said is, Nolan Arnato, I need him. This guy wants to eat your face off. He loves baseball. He loves everything about the game, and you just made a great point. Like, you come here. Yes, you're an eight-time All-Star. Yes, you're the stud, but people want to gravitate to you. But there's also learning lessons that you can gravitate to some of the other guys. And so when I ask you that, like, your whole life, you've loved this game, you've ate this game, and, and it's not like that for everybody. Some guys are just good at baseball. Yeah. But was this a young kid since you've been playing ball in the wolf ball yard with the kids and the brothers and the moms and stuff like that, that you'd love this game? Oh, absolutely. I, I do love this game. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, All-Star was never, like, in my mind when I got called up. It was just uh, getting the big leagues, try to spend 10 years in the show, and then uh, – but just being here and uh, my eighth one, it's been amazing. I've had a lot of help. I didn't think I was going to make it with the way I started this year, but like I said, I have a lot of great coaches, a lot of great teammates and family that helped me get here, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, the stroke swinging it right now. Speaking of swinging it, your wine. I'm super interested in this because I'm a wine drinker. We all have hobbies. Wow. Wow. You know, we you all have right hobbies there. that we yeah. like to do. You have a nice Cabernet. I think it's called Diamond and Key. That's right. And and you partner up with Clay Thompson. That's right. Talk to us a little bit about this. This is awesome. I can't wait to get a bottle. You're going to yeah. send all three of us one. I know that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll get you guys one. Um, but, uh, you know, I... Uh, you know, my, our financial guy, we work together, and I know the Thompsons. You know, Trace, his younger brother, who plays with the Dodgers, is one of my best friends. And uh, we just got together, and they said it would be a great idea. I didn't know anything about it, but I'm just trying to get into it. And uh, this cab is really good. I'm not going to lie, dude. It's a great cab. And uh, it's been a really cool passion for us. And uh, we've, come, we've, you know, collabed, obviously. And uh, I'm saying this, this cap is good. You gotta let it sit for like 25 minutes and then it's pretty darn good. We'll put it in a canner. Yeah. But when, you are, on it. Yeah, when, when you're doing the taste testing, do you spit it out? Uh, no, I don't spit it out. <laughs> no, I, I definitely no, no I'm not way. that guy. Uh -huh. I can't do That's that. They put waste. that down. I'm like, what I is don't that for? <laughs> yeah. Am I spill? Am I supposed to throw it? Yeah, a, a no, I can't do that. There? If I don't like something, I'm just gonna try to just straight face and be all right with it. Okay, so you were drafted two spots ahead of Trace in 2009. Was there any like smat talking going on? Um, actually, no, there never was. You know, I never, you know, we we talk so much smack about other things, you know, basketball, ping pong, I mean, swimming. I mean, everything we were competing with each other, but I never went there with the draft. I think we were just so stoked to get drafted right there in the second round and make some money that we were just so happy about it. But I never went there with that. I, I always, I try to cut deep on other things, but I never cut deep about the draft. Fair enough. Yeah, we had one of your teammates on earlier this year, Jordan Walker, and he said to us on the show that he hates eggs. So that's just one of those things, like a food that he hates. Is there a food out there that you hate that you can't stand? Because eggs, that caught me by surprise. Because I'm yeah. thinking as a kid, our whole life, like we get protein, protein, yeah. protein, protein. Yeah, I mean, well, eggs, I, I don't know where Jordan Walker was going with that one. Jeez. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, olives, I can't do olives. Really? Can't do it. So you're not a martini guy. You're obviously a wine guy. Yeah, now wine guy. Stern. I mean, no olives. I just can't do it. I never liked them. I don't know how people do it, but I just can't. Is it taste or texture? It's taste. Texture's not my problem. I've always, I'm always willing to try things, but the taste of it yeah. is just can't. Olives do it. are one of those things you're either in or out. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a regular olive, a blue cheese olive. I'm good, but the other ones, I don't like the little red thing in it. I don't even know yeah. what that is. Yeah, just it, you. well, you get fake teeth when you bite into those because they're so hard you, get and you don't stuck even there. see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, All Star games are fun too because we see different things. Guys move around. In high school, you were a catcher. Yeah. Um, is there ever that bit what? of you that just says one day, like, can I just get one, one inning one behind inning. home? Yeah, I mean, I was doing, I was playing catcher to get drafted and uh, I thought about it. I remember, uh, I think it was last year when Yachty went down or so I made a joke to all of them. Like, hey, if you need a backup backup catcher, I will be that guy for you. <laughs> but he's like, absolutely not. Are you kidding me? I'll get fired. So, um, 
You know, I do think about it once in a while. I did have a dream one time that I was a backup catcher when I was done playing, and uh, I don't know where that dream came from. That was weird, but uh, no a book. You can read a book all about dreams yeah. and what they mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah. catching, yeah. I mean, that's... It's the hardest position. People don't it realize is. just a foul tip inside the thigh, you're black yes. and blue, then the little nick on the finger, and yeah. now you realize why, you know, the stereotype catchers, you know, they weren't very good hitters growing up because they're catching bullpens, we're out there, but there's a lot of stuff, so I'm glad you stayed at Yeah, third. yeah. I was, uh, it was, there were some teams that were going to draft me as a catcher, though. So. Oh, they were? Nice. Yeah. Was it a pleasant dream, though, or was it more of a nightmare? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was cool. I mean, I just... I, it was like I played like for 20 some years in the big leagues because of it. It was a weird dream, but it was pretty cool. See, it's a good dream. Yeah, yeah. that's a good dream. I usually <laughs> have nightmares. Um, let's get to Secret Santos. This is the part where you have to yeah. tell Ooh. us a secret about yourself that no one knows. Now, you've been around a while, so I feel like a lot is out there. But what's something about you that no one else knows that you're willing to reveal with us, you know, and just the confidence of us four? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you were a catcher, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a secret I can share with you. I do surf. You surf? Nice. I have yes. six boards at home. I'd love to get in the water. Um, What's your ideal wave? Like, San Ofri, yeah. four foot wave, not, no, no, not crashing, just nice smooth wave and uh, just riding it. I mean, I remember when we lost in the playoffs in 17 to the Diamondbacks in the wild card game. I was so bummed out, but I went to go surf and get in the water, and it was like therapeutic, and it got my mind right for the next year. It was awesome. Closest so. call you've had though surfing, because immediately when you start saying surfing, Uncle Kevin starts thinking sharks. Yeah. I mean, is it, is, have you ever seen one? I haven't seen that, but I fell pretty hard a couple times, and like, you get stuck underwater a little bit, yes. and then there's been a couple times where I got stuck under there, and I kind of like thought I was gonna like lose my breath, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna take a break for a little while. Yeah, yeah, it kind yeah. of messed me up no, mentally, no. but yeah. I try to get back in there, man. It's therapeutic. It's amazing. Yeah, Mother Nature, she went. I remember going off the coast just a little south in Oregon, and I was going to boogie board off this hill or off this uh, wave, and I get over there, and it's just she is slamming me back. Yeah. I can't get to the wave. Well, you yeah, yeah. You, you know? kind of panic. Yeah, yeah and I yeah, did. I was you like, do. I'm you a good tired. swimmer, but I was scared. I mean, Are you really I'm, scared? Yeah, I, I, I like to swim. I didn't know that. It's another yeah. secret. We didn't know Ryan was a good That was my secret Santos right there. Yeah, okay, Michael Phelps. We had no idea. Mostly the backstroke. <laughs> Nolan Arenado, thank you so much. We appreciate no the time and thank congratulations. You You're me. back here for an you. eighth thank time. You. Yeah, thank congrats, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate right that.